Hello Tipros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. So in this video I'm having a problem with this machine. This is a Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro AX. Okay, you, you might have another model. As you can see I have it open and I'm going to turn it on to show you what's going on. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And right on when I turn it on, you can see that it's asking me a password. Enter your password. And as you can imagine, I don't have the password. So I cannot do anything with software. I have to do something with hardware. Now I'm going to shut down the computer. This is called, by the way, the admin password. There is also the BIOS password and the process is going to be the same if you have that issue. So this is my computer, as I show you. I have already removed the case. This is a mini ITX. That's why the case is small. The motherboard is, is small. So I remove already the power supply to save some time. I put it over here, but it is not disconnected from the power. It's shut down, but it's not disconnected from the power. So this is important, okay? So now we're going to go back to the computer over here. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and I'm going to show you around. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I, that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So this is the cooler for the processor. I have my hard drive over here and I have this horrible cable management and my video card. So what we're looking for are two pins like this one in the picture. So in this model and many others, it's over here below the processor. So I'm going to do a zoom in uh, maybe you cannot see it very well, but it's over here. And how do I know? Because the manual, you can see it here, it says number 15 CLR CMOS, and you can see its location. So that way you can check it out. All right, in your model might be different, but it's going to be somewhere on the motherboard. Now, uh, what we have to do is let's imagine my two fingers are the two pins and using my plain head screwdriver, I'm going to make them touch like I'm doing over here. So that way we are going to reset the BIOS password. And now we are going to try to do it. I'm going to show you how. So these are the two pins. I put it in between and now I'm going to twist it so they can touch each other for a few seconds. I, I left it for 10 seconds. The video is sped up over here. So once you have done that, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and we're going to point to the monitor. I have turned on the computer and we are going to wait for a few seconds. Don't worry, this time is going to take longer to boot up because we have reset the CMOS. So let's wait for a few seconds and we are going to see the logo over there. As you can see, I'm pressing now F F2 to access the BIOS and it's telling me BIOS has been reset. Please reconfigure your BIOS setup items if needed. Okay, so we are going to press OK over here and we are going to be in the BIOS itself. Now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. One thing to keep in mind, when you do this, you're going to lose all the configuration in the BIOS, okay? So if you only have the, if you if you don't have anything, well, you, did, you didn't lose anything. In my case, as you can see, DRAM status XMP is disabled, but before it was enabled. So that's one example. So I'm going to enable it again. I'm going to add profile number one. So now we have it as I had, as I have it before. We're going to go to the right to advanced settings, then to boot. And here is what it was configured. Security option is set to system. That means that you need a password when the computer boots up. So you don't see Windows, you don't see Linux, you cannot access the BIOS. You have to type the password first. So as you can see, administrator password is the one that was configured. I, it doesn't have anything right now, so it's disabled and that's what we have just reset. So once we have done that, we are going to go to save and exit. I made a little change, so I'm going to click on save and exit setup. Yes, I want to do that. Now this time is also going to take some time to boot up, so don't worry about that. This time I'm not going to press anything, so we are waiting. And for some reason it boot up again. I have no idea why. And now it's loading the operating system. So after a few seconds of waiting, we can see that we have access to Windows. You might, have, you might have Linux, so it's going to be the same process. So that's how you reset the BIOS password or system password or admin password on a gigabyte computer. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.